happy birthday wishes. Also attended the dinner last night. Just thank the Lord for it. It's just good to see another day, to see another year. God has been so good. And since he's been so good, I just want to say just a little bit of this. God has been so good to me. God is so good to me. I don't
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Oh, he woke me up this morning. Thank you, Lord.
psalmist declared that I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soldier may go boast of the Lord. The humble shall be out be glad. We bless the God to be assembled at his house one more time to give him praise, to give him glory, and to magnify his name. We have blessed of God. We've had a wonderful, laborious week this week, all the way through the graduates. We want to commend those that receive the certificate of diploma ship. Oh, here we go. proud of our graduates. I see some of them here now and some are not here. But we thank God. We want to encourage you to go on to have levels of learning where even the award terminal degrees that you might find your rightful place and be productive citizens. and be a blessing to others in your commitments and your endeavors. We again congratulate you. In the book of Romans chapter one, verse 16, Romans chapter one, verse 16. We want to understand that Paul's letter to the church of Romans was one of the Gentile church. Of course, they were Jewish parishioners and the church. Paul makes it clear in verse 13 that he wanted to be, to have fruit among other Gentile churches, Gentiles. You want to have fruit among them at Rome as well as, as other churches in the Gentile communities. So he writes this letter to them. It says, verse 16, So as much as in me is, I'm ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. Verse 15, that was verse 16 says, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. To the Jew first, and also to the Greek, the Gentile world. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, because we will understand that the gospel, the very mean, is good news. So he said, I'm not ashamed of the good news of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek. The subject this day is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of Jesus Christ. Uh, I will be in the future that it was the three gospels. There are three gospels. One was chosen to be preached by John the Baptist, the disciples, 
of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ himself. The gospel of the kingdom of the preaching and teaching that the Lord Jesus Christ shall establish his kingdom upon the earth. This was good news. After the death of Jesus, then the present gospel which we preach now, the gospel of Jesus Christ, or the gospel of grace, anonymous, what we preach now. We to understand that John the Baptist could not preach Jesus' death. Jesus had not died. Could not preach his resurrection. He had not died, neither had he risen from the dead. So Jesus himself preached the same gospel that John the Baptist preached and the other 12 disciples preached. And at the close, nearing the time that he should die, he was a purpose to preach this gospel to the whole house of Israel. And as the time is drawing nigh, because he only had a period of time to live preaching the gospel. That period was a three and one half years. So he chose 70 more and ordained them and, them and sent them forth to preach as a 12 did. So he had 82 preachers preaching the gospel of the kingdom. That's the teaching that the Lord Jesus Christ shall set his kingdom up here on earth, headquarters in Jerusalem. And this shall last for a period of a thousand years. And when he came, he came and would have established his kingdom at that time. But the king was killed. He died on the cross. So that ended the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom. There's an A.D. part. Once he gets ready, which he will in the future, set his kingdom up on earth, and he shall choose 144,000 sealed Jews to resume the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom, as per Revelation chapter 7. So this gospel that of the kingdom is not the gospel that we're preaching today, but we're preaching the gospel of grace. I say that to say this, and those of you that are listening, and I trust that you're listening and taking heed to what I'm saying at this time. There's a misrepresentation in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14, where Jesus said, when this gospel of the kingdom is preached, and to all the world, as a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. Now he was being indicative of a present gospel at that time that was being preached. And that was the gospel that John the Baptist, the first who began this gospel message, and the 12 disciples and Jesus himself, along with his 70 more, but once Jesus died and the Jews rejected their king, the message of the gospel of the kingdom was halted. Now, Jesus dies, and after Jesus dies and is resurrected, then it brought forth a death, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is the basic consistency of the gospel in which we're preaching now the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Remember, the gospel means good news, but it was the gospel of the kingdom, uh, the gospel of grace. Then there's a third gospel that shall be preached. And at the end of the tribulation period, in Revelation chapter 14, verse 6, there's an angel going about preaching the everlasting gospel 
The everlasting gospel is not applicable to the day. It's a gospel to be preached at the end of the tribulation period. So we got three different gospels, but each one has its time to be preached. The gospel of the kingdom is not preached now, but the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul is saying, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. It brings men to the cross, brings them to the, to the cross, my God, and through his death on the cross, redemption comes by the blood of Jesus Christ by our faith in him. I say this again to remind you that when the preachers are saying today, when this gospel of the kingdom is being preached among all nations as a witness, then shall the end time. That gospel is not what we're preaching now. Jesus was indicated at that time, you say, with this, he's pointing to at that time the present gospel. When this gospel of the kingdom is preached in all the world among all nations, then shall the end come. They do that, you know, they tell you we coming near the end time now and help us, you know, send us some money so they can go take the gospel. They're not preaching, they're not to preach the gospel of the kingdom, but the gospel of Jesus Christ. I will deal with that later. I'll deal with all three gospels in a teaching form uh, and in your future. The gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of grace, or the gospel of Jesus Christ, and of course, the everlasting gospel. But today we want to deal with the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God. And the salvation, the Bible says that everyone that believes, it's what God uses to bring men to repentance. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Not philosophy, not psychology, or any other disciplines that one may try to use. The gospel is the only thing that delivered men and saved them. And it is good news. Jesus died for the sins of the world. When he died, this was a moment, my God, of bad news. Bad news. When Jesus died on the cross, this was bad news. But thank God, when he rose from the dead, he brought forth good news. It was good news that he was risen from the dead. And through his death, his burial and resurrection, we can't eat. My God, to receive everlasting life. And Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God huh, to salvation to everyone that believes. And Paul was not impressed with other ideologies. He wasn't impressed when he, uh, when he stood before kings declaring the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. At a time like this, we need to hear some good news. The gospel is good news. Let me pause for a moment. The gospel of Jesus Christ is good news. Oh, I get depressed sometimes. Well, I watch news, CBS, ABC, NBC, uh, CNN, MSNBC. Every once in a while I flick over on Fox. Fox accused the other ones of <laughs> bad false news, but then he got sued for ten lies. They specialize. But anyway, we hear bad news all the time. And one of the most depressing times now is to see the nation being so divided through one man who has mesmerized one party and has preachers lying in support of read between lines, lying to support such an ideology. And it is bringing havoc across the nation, dividing for fighting. I've never seen such a, such a diabolic move in the midst of the political system of the nation. And it gets almost pathetic when you see what is happening. 
This is bad news. My God, just a few years ago, the whole world, the whole world went through a, a pandemic. Had no respect of person. The only idea, the only thing about it, as I noticed in our captive calculations, according to the population, the United States was suffering more per capita than all the other nations in the world. There was a reason behind that. And this pandemic changed things. It changed the churches. Many churches was, were closed down. Many of them were closed down. And many of them never came back because of the pandemic. This church, which some of folks, some folks haven't been back yet. But thanks be to God, financially the church flourished during those, those days. But the pandemic affected the whole world, all stages of life. This was bad news. When, when you had to wear a mask and you go to the church, you can't sit right next door to your wife and your, your neighbor because of the infectious power of the pandemic. Couldn't in Trinidad, we left South America and stopped in Trinidad and spent time in Trinidad and the, the whole restaurant was closed down. You couldn't go inside. It's sick. You had to get the food and go outside. This, this was bad news. Uh, many traveling was hindered because of that pandemic. <laughs> this was bad news. And now we're saved with a crisis. A crisis in the Gaza Strip. War between Israel and the Palestinians. It is bringing havoc. It is the whole world, the whole world is affected watching what's happening in Israel and relevant to the Gaza Strip. This is, this is bad news. My God, and then just what cool down to talk about it. The Russians trying to invade Ukraine. And the whole world is watching this because it feels that it could lead to World War Three, and if we're not careful, we're right at the brink of World War Three. And we're concerned. The politicians, nations are concerned. This is bad news. But thanks be to God, it's good to have the good news. And the good news is Jesus died on the cross. God, I praise you. Who is rose up on the third morning? Can somebody give him a praise in this house? And of course, I'm not ashamed of the cup of Christ. For he is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. And the Master had a day to serve and call Paul. So it was, and stopped him on the Damascus Road and changed his mind and gave him a call that would lead to the writing of indelible scriptures that we might be blessed even on today. And later on he called himself Paul. And Paul went preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, not in fear. Not trying to impress. Not using highfalutin words even though he sat at the feet of one of the greatest theologians, scholars, and teachers in the Jewish star history. <coughs> well versed. But he came preaching Jesus Christ and him crucified. You don't have to go all this dressed up stuff trying to bring men to repentance. Just preach the gospel. If the gospel can't do it, nothing else can. Can somebody give him praise in the house of the Lord? And, and now we see him moving, going on journeys, mesmerizing, my God, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and bringing men to the cross. He comes on his last journey to a place where his second trip to a place called Athens. And when he got to Athens among the Athenians, they were idol worshippers. And uh, they, you know, they, they were scholars. We had a fellow Socrates and Plato and Archimedes and all of these fellows that contributed to science and the medicine, contributed to, amen, to mathematics and, and, and philosophy. 
And they bolted themselves because they figured they were smarter than anybody else and they would meet on a Mars Hill or Arapagus where the highest court among the thieves met. And Paul came there. He had some philosophers there called the Greeks and the Stoics. And they would gather there sharing what they do and trying to impress others. And then Paul came to town. He wasn't worried about philosophy. He wasn't worried about going to the school to every security and trying to sit down and learn the ideologies and the concepts among the, the, the Stoics. Uh, but he only knew Jesus. Anybody here know Jesus? You may not know psychology. You may not know etymology. You may not know all this kind of stuff. But if you know Jesus, lift your right hand up and say, I know Jesus. Ah, uh, God, I praise you. Come on, say, I, I know Jesus. I can't tell you about the Pythagorean theorem, uh, but I can tell you about Jesus. Uh, I, I don't know all of this uh, Harvard stuff and all this Yale terminology. Uh, I don't know all the terminology that elite use to try to impress, but I know Jesus. Can somebody ask my God? Uh, and when you step down on Mars Hill, uh, among the scholars, uh, they have been the masters uh, of the highest court of the Athenians, uh, and they were worshiping there. They gathered there just trying to impress. Uh, the, the Athenians wanted to learn, they wanted to hear something new. Uh, but Paul came preaching Jesus and him crucified. Oh God, I preach. Uh, and they were trying to impress. Uh, but all he knew uh, was Jesus and him crucified. Uh, can I get the witness in the house? Uh, oh, I'm going to say uh, of the gospel of Christ. Uh, but it is the power of God and the salvation. Uh, it is a saint. It's a magnet uh, that God uses to bring men to him. Uh, the gospel can reach way down uh, into the gutter uh, and bring a prostitute out uh, and dress her up uh, by God in a robe of righteousness. Uh, the gospel that go in the crack house uh, and pull out a crack and and put him in the ministry uh, and choose him uh, to preach the same gospel. Oh, I'm ashamed uh, of the gospel of Christ. Uh, but in the power of God under salvation, uh, thanks be to God, uh, somebody told you uh, that Jesus died. Uh, somebody told you that Jesus died. Uh, but the good news they told you, uh, he rose up. He's 
He's a savior. He's a savior. He's a savior. He's a savior. He is a redeemer. I tell you, he is. He is a redeemer. He is. He is the comforter. He is the way maker. Ah, yes, sir. I'll tell the world how that Jesus died. Please. 